great to be able to, uh, you know, bring all this stuff to the light and, uh, you know, really just give y'all some insight on about, you know, or what, where it come from, you know, where it always come from. All right. So, uh, that was pretty much everything that I had to ask you, but, uh, talking about all this makes me want to give a bonus question. Uh, so hear me out before you answer. Yeah. Are you going to be lighting up? Yeah. As, as I talk about this question, but just let me get done, and then the floor is yours. Yeah. So, as I reflect on the beginning to the now, I reflect on all the numerous of, uh, amount of customers that we've had, mm -hmm. and uh, while they all are great, I think it's safe to say that you know we've had some some pretty big customers, and we had some customers that they may not have been big, and like as far as notoriety but they were big to us personally yeah okay. so i'm gonna touch on a on a, a couple of them on in both categories so my the bonus question is out of all the jobs i'm going to list which was your favorite and why so i'm gonna start by saying start with uh sherrod you know sherrod the barber mm -hmm. Uh, you know, we went in, we we did his TVs, security system, we tied a wall. Tied a wall for him. Uh, what else we did for Sherrod? Uh, I think y'all did, y'all did some stuff for him at the house, didn't y'all? No, 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 we didn't do that at the house, we didn't do that at the house. But I uh, think that, that was we, all at the shop. Yeah, and we did pretty much everything for at him. At the shop, oh, at okay. At the shop, so we got no, Sherrod. Uh, what, what? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. This is one. This is one. All right, so Sherrod, the first one. Sherrod the barber, uh, the NFL know, barber. Sherrod used to be an NFL player, retired. So uh, Sherrod was one of the one of my close friends and uh, someone that I grew up with. That Bam had an opportunity to meet. Uh, so moving right along, mm -hmm. uh, another one that comes to mind for me is uh, Mr. McNair. Mm -hmm. You know, he's not an NFL player. He's not known all over the world. Yeah, yeah. But I think he really had an impact on. I think he has one of the. You know, okay, got, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I got the flow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Follow the directions. Yeah, no, sorry about you that. You see why I had to be so tough on guy? Yeah, I talk yeah. about him dealing with me. He, yeah. he don't follow the directions, so I had to get on him. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. McNair, you know, we did his basement. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was, to me, one of the, the, the biggest jobs we ever done because. It it gave people uh, the opportunity to see us perform and to see us do some things that they probably never thought we could do or they never saw us do. Mm -hmm. So I really appreciate uh, the the opportunity to do his basement and not only that, just the, all the jewels that we that he dropped on us throughout the process from him, you know, giving us advice on. Just everything from personal to business. Mm -hmm. So we talked about Sherrod the Barber. We talked about Mr. McNair. The third one is Bobby Rainey. Mm -hmm. Bobby Rainey, for those of you who don't know, man, that's one of my that's one of my dogs, man. I, I've been knowing Bobby for a long time, and he's an he happens to be another retired NFL veteran. Uh, mm -hmm. And me and him used to have a lot of battles back in the day, but uh, not going into too deep into that. Uh, we did a privacy fence for Bobby, and Bobby man just has such a pure heart, man. man that, Bob, that, Bobby had a, but Bobby had one of the biggest impacts, like on me personally, just because you know I I didn't know Bobby, but I ain't gonna go there. But I I'm gonna let you finish. You so know? you know Bobby, my dog. Shout out to Bobby man, Bobby Rainey. Bobby Rainey, shout my out dog, to Bobby man. Rainey. We had a lot of battles, man. I remember like, hitting him in practice every day and. Man, that's my dog. We ain't gonna get too personal, man. We'll, I have another episode for me and Bobby. But uh, uh, when Bobby let us do his privacy fence, you know, I think we were still around like the first year, year and a half. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the exposure when I started, you know, posting like, you know, retired NFL veteran Bobby Rainey, we did a privacy fence and, mm -hmm. and we did a good job, man. Actually, did a great job. That was our first privacy fence. We did a great job. Bobby even loved it. Like, he loved it. Like, he... He actually said we, you know, he gave it to us. Like we did a great job, and it was it was an amazing experience for me. You know, just even you know dealing with that type of company. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 
you know, shout out to Bobby, man. Like, cause you know, I, I, I got a, I actually got a chance to really talk to Bobby and uh, <laughs> diverse with him, man. And uh, he's, man, he a great guy. Like, he really, you know, he, op he just opened my eyes, you know, to, to things that I, I, I kind of didn't know. I knew, but didn't know. And he just, just enlightened me on, on a lot of things, man. And uh, just, he, he, he made me a better person without even knowing it. He, he, he'll know it now if he ever see this, but... He he made me a better person, man, just from being himself and just really diversing with me and talking to me and uh, just enlightening me on uh, things he went through, and it just made it made me better, you know what I'm saying? Cause one day I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, you know, a Bobby Rainey, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna be Bobby Rainey of, of, uh, home, of, improvement. of home improvements. Like he he the Bobby Rainey of the NFL. I'm gonna be the Bobby <laughs> Rainey of. <laughs> of, of of construction of home improvement so hey, shout out to that guy, man. so so he 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 pretty much gave me the blueprint on how how to really deal with the the success so and I, I thank you for that Bobby man I appreciate that man all right and the last customer which uh we didn't really get to do too much work for him but to me this 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 is when things start getting real for me because you know my my vision was always very high, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I think you can vouch for that. No, man. So, it's too high. Uh, when you talk about the celebrity part of it, you know, Bobby Rainey, which is a big deal, not taking nothing from him, but that's my guy. So, to me, it's like, yeah. one he of my guys. Have have a, he, he have a more of a personal relationship. And Sherrod, the barber, you know, again, another, and, and Sherrod is, like, he's expanding even more beyond mm -hmm. his NFL career as the, I think he, if you ask me, he's the, the official barber of the NFL, mm -hmm. and uh, he has a lot of exposure. But again, just like Bobby, there's someone that I grew up with and I've been knowing him my whole life. So, mm -hmm. uh, for, so for those two guys, it's just like me being so proud of them and just being happy that mm -hmm. I live my life well enough for them to feel comfortable to you know deal with me even after the success. All the all the success that they had, you know what I'm saying. So, true. but this one hit me personally hard because. This is a a, a, a level of uh, celebrity that even surpasses Bobby and Sherrod because of what he does. And I remember like it was yesterday, man, getting that phone call. Actually, he FaceTimed me, man, Walker Flocker. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, like I said, we didn't we haven't went out and actually done the work yet. Cause, man, shout out to Walker, he's a very busy man, and we we very busy too. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So, you know. I was just leave that there, but for me, having that experience and doing that estimate with Waka Flocka man and him facing the time in me and like he really, uh, you know, he was calling me and I, I, I felt like man, like man, Waka Flocka calling my phone, like I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know him, so for mm -hmm. me that was kind of. That was like that was big. That, yeah, that, that, was that, like, that was that is big. So, Cause yeah. Waka is who Waka is. Like, we you don't have to downplay it. That's <laughs> that's big. It is. Hey, shout like, out to Waka Flocka. Yeah, like, Waka Waka is yeah. like you know it, you know every like these guys are great. Everybody that we just named, like, these guys have surpassed like what people thought they would ever be. Yeah. What society thought they would ever be like. Sure. We we talking about guys from the bottom. Like Sherrod from the bottom, like, and I don't know Sherrod's whole story, but I know where he's from. And Griffin ain't ain't <laughs> Hollywood. Grip Town, man. Griffin hey, ain't Grip Hollywood. Town. Shout out to all my people from Griffin, you know man. Grip Town stand and up. And I do man. know where Griffin at. And if that's where Sherrod's from, like he don't come from no silver spoon. <laughs> if he's from Griffin, I'm gonna just be honest. Like ain't no ain't no silver spoon in Griffin. Even the nice part of Griffin ain't like Hollywood. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? So, so back to the question. So out of Sherrod, the barber, retired NFL veteran, Bobby Rainey, NFL veteran, Mystic McNair, mm -hmm. who's, who happens to be a pastor mm -hmm. uh, for a Believer's Bible Christian Church, I think Ministry. it is. Believer Bible's Church. Ministry. Ministry. Yeah. Yeah. Believer's uh, Bible's Church Ministry. When I, when I post a video, you'll see it right below here. But uh, Mr. McNair, man, I love you. Shout out to Mr. McNair. And then love last but not McNair. least... Uh, walk a flock of flame, man. So out of all those four, and and there's just four. You know, I I you know I can't. I, I'm not. I don't want to. You know, really. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you nothing that ain't real. So I, honestly, I I haven't experienced. I had one experience with Walker, but it was outside of PFHI. 
So I don't want to really touch on Waka. I only really experienced my time with the other guy, Sherrod. I did have some time, you know, to talk with Sherrod. You know, I had definitely a lot of time to talk with Bobby. And I had extremely a lot of time to talk with Mr. McNair because, you know, we did a basement. We remodeled for Mr. McNair. And, you know, we spent a lot of time with him and his family. So, you know, outside of the time, I I don't want to take away from Sherrod because Sherrod is great. I mean, you know, y'all can look Sherrod up. I'm pretty sure he's going to have it popping up somewhere. <laughs> you know, it's going to be popping up somewhere. But uh, he's, he's a great, he, he's great, you know what I'm saying? But uh, Mr. McNair and Bobby really, you know, they really touched me personally. Uh, uh, a, a way that um, ain't nobody really never touched me like that, you know what I'm saying? At that level of success that they had, because we talking about guys that already hit a level of success that I haven't reached yet, you know. And for them to diverse with me and for them to talk to me equally as a man, you know, it it uh, it, it, it boosted my level of confidence and it showed me that you know I'm. I'm I'm equal to them, you know what I'm saying? It, they they even they let me know that. They without even let without letting me without saying it. They basically let me know even though, you know, I didn't reach this level of success, you 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 just as you just like me. And uh I think I think if nobody showed me more, uh, I think Bobby showed me that more because Mr. McNair had a, you know, by him being a pastor, he had a different um level of level in a different way of showing me that I was equal to him. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, but Bobby, you know, seeing Bobby, you know, him being a pro athlete, you know, they kind of, they, they got a different, you know, swag about themselves. They, they, you know, a pro athlete ain't like no pastor, you know, they just not, <laughs> you know, so, so me hearing Bobby and me diversing with Bobby, you know, and he, you know, he talking to me and, you know, and, and telling me his story and then he listening to me you know he actually you know he actually listened to me and let me tell him my story and I'm and, and, and to me I felt like I wasn't on his level but he made me feel like I was even on his level just just from listening to me so I think he had the biggest impact on me as far as my growth Outside of drivers, you know what I'm saying. I, I, but I'm not. We ain't talking about. I dealing with him. We have to rewind the tape and go a whole another hour on dealing with drivers. But outside of drivers, like I think Bobby really had the biggest impact. You know what I'm saying. And I'm not taking from Mr. McNair because Mr. McNair really had a big impact on me also. And he and he he really gave me a guideline to follow to follow to really move to the next level. But just on a personal level, I think Bobby just really just gave me some insight that I, I wouldn't have been able to get from nobody else but a pro athlete that had made, you know, had this great level of success, but yet can still talk to a normal guy like me and just say, you know, you great, you know, and, and, and as long as you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to be just as successful just to hear that from somebody like him just really just gave me the, the, all the motivation I needed, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's why I thrive, because I know that it's real. Like, to hear from him, I know it's real. And not a, not just to hear from him, though, but it, it, it just it, it speaks value. Anybody know, because we all want to be accepted by everybody. All of us want to be accepted. That's, that's the whole thing in life. We all want to be accepted. So just to hear that from somebody that already didn't reach this, this level of success is just... You know, it's I can't even speak on it in words. So shout out to Bobby. It seems like the answer's pretty clear. Yeah, um, it's pretty clear. Not to, not to belittle Sherrod the Barber. Not not to and Mr. not to Man, take away from Miss Manette. Not to take away from Blacker, but, but uh, for just you, that's just for me. Way. Just on a personal level, is yeah, Bobby Rainey, man. I appreciate that too, man. Hey, man shout shit. out to Bobby, man. Uh, yeah, me and Bobby had a lot of uh, experience with each other back in the days, man. And, Man, we can go back and forth all every day, day about like, who was hey, the best. Like, look, look, a little side <laughs> shot. Like, we always talk about it. Even like, even when we was working for Bobby, even when we was doing the work for Bobby, cause we worked for Bobby for a while. Like, yeah. like that privacy fence, and then we did some work for him in the house, in this nice, beautiful house he got. But we we always talked about that. We always talked about who is the better football player, <laughs> and of course, 
by Bobby being an NFL star and making it to the big league, it was like, well, Jarvis, you you didn't you didn't you didn't even you didn't even go to college and play football. Like you didn't play Bobby broke records at his like you're not better than Bobby Rainey. Bobby was the all time leader rusher. You're not better than Bobby Rainey, Kentucky. but but that was that was a talk. That was a talk that like Jarvis was Better than Bobby Rainey and, and when they was little, but or just as good as. But but so, Bobby, so, Bobby so had never Bobby, Bobby had never give give that to Jarvis though. Like he never did. Like we because we was at Bobby's house and Bobby said, "Nah, you you was good, but you weren't better than me." And what what man gonna give up the number one spot? And I don't think it's no man in the world that's gonna give up the number one spot. So but so on that note, man, yeah. I want to end this and uh, shout out to Bobby. Shout out uh, to Bobby Rainey, man. Uh, shout out to Mr. A, McNair. Shout out to uh, Sherrod the Barber. And Walker you know, Flocka. Walker Flocka. Flocka. Walker and, uh, Flocka. And, uh, and, uh, and that's just a few. Like it's a it's a man, lot of people that didn't that didn't touch us, people. but we, uh, we we only stand them because they have a celebrity status and they they're known renowned like rural renowned, you know. So that's why we you know and they happen to be you know they happen to be people that touch PFHI. So we we're only speaking on them, but. It's it. We got countless amount of people that we can name like that. That really just blossom PFHI. But them guys, them guys by them being they celebrity status and them having that 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 one on one with us, it it it, it means a lot. And that and that's what that's what that's what we are. All we can do is drive on that and, and continue to move forward on the experience that we have that we had with those guys. So. All right, all right. So, man, we're going to end it, man. I appreciate you taking some some of your personal time. Ah, man. You because know, it was you hard. Know, hey, you know, it was hard, man. It's a lot of your time. Yeah, all my time. Hey, hey guys, he ain't getting paid.